morning guys I'm gonna do something a little bit different today went out fishing with Jake next door and he got a very nice I'll just show you very nice King George whiting so I'm gonna have a go at doing a fish print um, it's a Japanese style thing called geotaku so geotaku don't I think it's print and fish um, basically the Japanese used to do it in the old fishing boats they would do a print of the fish and when they got back to port they'd hang these pictures up and people would know then what they can what's for sale it's very cool I've had a look at it online so I wanted to have a go so I've gone out and bought the stuff to do it this is gonna be my first go guys so I don't know how it will work out but it looks reasonably simple, therefore it's not going to be that easy. So basically, went out and I bought some cuttlefish ink. I bought this online. Um, I'm sure you can get it at cooking stores. The reason we're using cuttlefish ink is then once I've done the fish print, I can rinse the fish off and fill it up and still eat it. Uh, if you use other inks, you don't know how good it is. And I've gone out and bought a, a big ream of rice paper. That's what we'll print onto. So we'll see how it goes. So from what I'm seeing, the first step is you want to get your fish sort of spread out. So I'll whoop, get shadows on here. So what I've done, I'll put it on this foam board. And I've just used a few little pins to hold the fins out. Uh, they say it gives it a bit more of a natural look. And in the mouth, I've just put a little bit of a toothpick. Um, that keeps the mouth open and then I think the process is we get paint the ink on and we'll rub it now I think the ink's going to be the the tricky thing it's very thick cuttlefish ink so I've had to dilute it so whether I've made it too thin or too thick we'll have to see and have a bit of experiment but we'll have a go so what I'll do is I'll put the camera on the fish and we'll paint it up with ink and then we'll have a go at printing it. So I say that they say you gotta dilute this a bit. I don't know if I've made it too thin guys. We'll know when we start painting it on. We'll start down here. That right, looks alright. Looks similar to what the guy in the video did anyway. So paint it on the fish. They say you don't want it too thick, because if you put it on and it's too thick you don't get the uh, texture so the scales etc etc but obviously it's too thin it probably just run off so yeah it's just an experiment this is the first very first go I've had I'd like to do a few more so you know this is a trial not a bad fish to do a trial on I think you just gotta try and get it reasonably even over the whole fish and the guy in the video he did a few goes at his fish because he's like he says it's a case of putting it on rubbing it off you know printing it and then seeing how it goes this might be all a bit runny i think so i don't know i guess the uh First print will tell us if it sucks or not. Alright, we'll have a go. I say, so, I've never done this before, so who the hell knows what's going to happen here. So, so I'm just going to try and. Rice paper is very, very thin, so who knows what's going to go on here, guys. I want to get it in there get the fins so this is actually a bit trickier than you think turning out too bad but I'll look at it for a first crack guys so try and get it down onto that just need a tiny 
little bit more. For a second print, we'll just I'll do a few and we'll see how we go, guys. Well, this looks a little bit better, a little bit too much, probably on the bottom there. So can get it down and these this is a roundish fish which is the tricky bit and those fins in there and I'll pull the paper there guys so. Right, I guys, I've had done four so far, so I'll just run you through them. And it's taken a little bit of working out. So, get the camera right, guys. That was the first one, so obviously, I was a little bit heavy on the ink. Second one, a little bit the same. There's no texture in here. I've gone a bit lighter on the next ones. So this one here, I started getting the texture in a bit more, but not enough ink on the head. This one here, this is the best one so far. Pretty happy with that. So I'll probably do a bit more. I think if I criticise, I've lost the top of his head here. So I'll have another go. But I'm thinking with the ink, uh, less is more. And also I'm finding with this uh, whiting, if I brush the ink on against the scales, uh, it's going in sort of give me a better definition on the fish itself. So I'll have another go. Right, so as I was saying guys, I'm finding the best way at the moment is actually apply it up against the scales. I'm forgetting to do the top of his head, get his mouth done. Plenty of ink, make sure you've got good coverage. Get those fins and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll go back the other way, it sort of reduces the amount of ink on there. I'll do the same on the fins. Because if you have too much ink, it just turns into a, a big black blob. If I go back like that, just lose off the ink over there. Um, just take that off off the fins a bit so it's not too heavy so I'm sort of happy it's got a good coverage and so you just sort of remember these top of the head and that because you actually wrap the paper around the fish another thing I'm finding is if I get any 
sorry about your tea towel Dallas but if you're getting any over there it comes up on the print so we get another piece this is about number six go like this so also I've never done it before guys so very thin paper be careful of uh, not tearing it when it gets wet too so put it down sort of stretch it out over the fish put it on and then just sort of work your way out it's good when you because you can see the detail coming through the paper's that thin you can sort of see for yourself where you're going where you need to sort of rub it on just gently so the paper is thin guys get it down here let's go do the head so run it up over the over its noggin get under its chin and add a little thin here so I just put my hand under and sort of support that and want to put a little bit more ink on that thin and go underneath there's a tiniest bit of ink on there guys just to help it show up there we go you can sort of see that down along its belly Show up these other little fins that we got down there. Get me hand in under the top here. Because I've got fins there, but what I want to do is run it around the top until we hit the fin and then run it out on the fin. It's a little bit tricky. This is actually the trickiest bit I'm finding is getting this top bit. Get that, that fin. In. But also not get my fingerprints in there because it's a print of a fish it's not a print of my finger run it down same thing down to the tail and that's why I removed that excess it's still got a bit of a gap there three nine, 12 prints so I've done 12 prints I'll show you where we sort of started off with these ones out here which were a bit too heavy a bit too dark um, go back inside where the other ones are and I've done these ones in here which have just got little flaws they're not too bad that one's not bad but I tore it when I pulled it off this one I sort of missed the top of his head this one's okay I made a bit of a smudge here but I got down to the favorite couple which are around here uh, probably this one and this one I'm actually thinking this is probably my favorite at the moment so yeah they're, none of them are perfect but it's not a perfect art but makes it sort of suitable to me um yeah so that's that's it that's the that's the process um and i'll have a look at them later when they're dried off so i might come back and show you when they're dried off now i've just got to clean up my mess before dallas comes home and all will be good see ya righto guys take two got halfway through doing this and the battery ran out so i'm doing it again so yeah it's a few days later 
um, from when I finished the last bit of video. Um, I framed up what I thought was my best print. So that's what it looks like complete, guys. I'll just go in, let you have a closer look. It came out quite good. There's quite a bit of detail in, in there. So, yeah. I'm quite pleased. So, that was what I thought was the best. I did 12 prints. Um, I think there was about three which I thought were quite good. There were some that weren't that good. You know, I missed bits or a bit smudged. Or, and then I got some which were absolute shit. But it was my first go. So, yeah. That's what you can end up with, guys. I'll give you another quick look. It's just a cheap frame that we picked up. Um, if you got any questions on anything I used, did, where I got it, anything I could recommend or don't do, um, give us a message. I'll try and get back to you. Um, keeping in mind, this is the first time I have done these. So, yeah, I'm still learning. Keen to do some more, so I've got to get out fishing and catch a few more fish and try some different shapes. So, one last look. That is the finished product, I suppose you call it. So, a uh, Jiotaku. So, traditional Japanese fish print with squid ink on a, what I call it, washi paper, which I believe is a type of rice paper. So, there you go. Finished product, guys. So, yeah.